The wind, oh how it whistled in your ear. To not speak, but to tell a story it cried. One step, two steps, can you hear? The crunch of the stalk and the slush of the mud. One step, two steps, can you hear? The heaviness of weight, the heaviness of their burdens. Can you hear the creatures that dance in the rice, the insect, the vermin, the oh maggots how it whistled you in your ear? Can you hear? To not speak, the but to tell a story it cried. One step, two steps, can you hear? The crunch of the stalk and the slush of the mud. One step, two steps, can you hear? The heaviness of weight, the heaviness of their burden. Can you hear the creatures that dance in the rice, the insects, the vermin, the maggots you see? Can you hear the detestable creature that is I remember a maggot dancing in the rice. Of course, nobody wants to deal with a maggot, but nevertheless, there is a maggot. I remember one. They were strong and brave. It had hair that shined. It was dark like night. Remember it like a dream, a long lost memory. It danced in the rice with a smile painted on its face. It was so sad. Beautiful, like a doll. It had skin so soft. It lost hands to caress. It had lips meant for only one thing to please. Lips so full of painted. Lips that should never speak unless spoken to. Oh, how that was the sweetest sound. The silence of one's property. For a body to only be consumed. To truly live, all it had to do was give more than a trip and receive a ring. To take a name was to be given life. Like Have you ever seen a maggot die, line. leading the fox to run and play? To the spirit of the that all a maggot needs the living to be the dead, blamed and loved. In the end, it was neither cruel nor kind. Like a fox spirit, it danced, even when the crimson no longer flowed. It was beautiful. I am a maggot in the life. That is my name. My name refers to the burden of girls and the preference for sons. I am a burden because my parents feed me, but then I'm going to marry off and take care of my husband's family. But if I'm not married by the time I reach 25, then I will be considered a leftover woman. Of course, my parents in China would want both a son and a daughter, but for a long time there was a one-child policy which was strictly enforced through fines or in ways we may consider inhumane, like forced abortions. Here I am, a maggot in the rice. Or should I say, less than a maggot, because I was abandoned.